Well, there have been 19 burglaries around Bemidji over the last month, and there may be even more that have gone unreported. Mel Meyer has the latest in the investigation. In the northwest part of town, a woman's camper was broken into, the TV destroyed while she was away. Their next door neighbors were home when the perpetrator broke in. She did not want to have her home on camera in case of retaliation. Across the street, Aaron Carter says some small items were taken from his garage. You know, it's, it's less about the things that they take and more about, you know, the safety of our family. So. He has heard from neighbors that similar incidents have occurred, but didn't believe that all were being reported. He hopes people will do their part to help law enforcement. Can, you know, make sure everything's locked up, um, you know, report to the police what we can, um, and make sure that, uh, you know, if you see anything odd that's going on in the area, report it, let them know. Both the Bemidji Police and Beltrami County Sheriff's Department are continuing to investigate the crimes. They say these are crimes of opportunity and finding the perpetrator or group may take a while. But typically these take time and it usually takes just one event that then puts the whole puzzle together. But until we get that, it usually remains just a mystery. For people with summer houses leaving the area soon, they can sign up to have extra patrols near their home. We'll go out and we'll do security checks on their homes. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a service we offer to help um, keep your home safe. Both the police and sheriff's department would not comment on whether they had any suspects for the crime, citing the ongoing investigations. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. And the Sheriff's Department tells us investigators are using software to predict potential crimes and to identify areas for increased patrols. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.